Have you found that you've had a problem with squash, bugs, and cucumber beetles in your veggie garden, and particularly in your zucchini, squash, and cucumber plants. If you have, I have a tip for you today that will definitely help you, make it easier for you to catch them and pick them off. Hi everyone, I'm Julie Demakos, also known as The Gardening Girl, and I'm so glad that you can join me today. This tip, I have been trying it. And it's one of these methods that I just, you know, I, I was desperate, and I tried it and I tried it again and again and I found it to be effective. So I wanna share it with you so that you can have an easier time if you are dealing with the same garden pests. Um, I thought I would share it with you to make your gardening journey a simpler one. Let's get started. This is one of the cucumber beds that I have in my veggie garden. It's the first one that I planted. So the plants in here are way more mature than the other beds because it was kind of like my trial bed. It's the first bed that I noticed these garden pests and I thought I better get a handle on the pests in here, those cucumber beetles and squash bugs before I planted out the rest of the cucumber bits. So I did that and I've been battling them and it has been an ongoing process since the end of May. But I have found some improvement. So I want to share that with you today to make your life easier. And what do you, what is this tool? It's very, very simple. I use my watering wand. I water and I set the water at mist. And what that does is creates this mist like this. It allows me to water the plants and at the same time drown out the squash bugs and cucumber beetles. And they, what they do is if they're under the mulch or at the base of the plant, they will come up and but they won't be able to fly because the water will stop them from flying. Their wings will get wet and they won't be able to fly. So I've been doing this now and I was desperately, you know, I attempted this desperately when I first encountered them. I found it to work. So I've tried it now several times and um, it's been effective. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on my watering wand to mist and I'm going to set it at the base of a plant. I have a plant right here, and I'm just going to leave it. So what that would do is any uh, potential squash bug hanging out on the stem, which is where they like to, to stay and mate, they will uh, come up, but they won't be able to fly. And at the same time, and I'm already seeing them, there's cucumber beetles walking around over there. And the water stops them from flying. They're actually really fast and harder to catch. So if you can catch them when they're wet, like this, take them and you drop them into a bucket of soapy water. And yes, the bucket of soapy water is a must. I catch all garden pests, the baddies, and throw them in here. I do the same thing with gypsy moth caterpillars if they're on any of my plants, my trees. And I also do this with the Colorado potato bugs and as well as the larva. This is the best tip. Uh, soapy water, once they're in there, they don't get out. So. I'm seeing uh, some congregating right there. Now, they're harder to get, and I find it's easier without a glove. But because my one hand is full, I'm just going to pop them in. Get in there. Okay? But do I see any squash bugs? I'm going to move on to the next plant. So the numbers are lower because I have been doing this for a while. Here I am at the next plant. I'm going to set it at the base. Like so. I'm going to leave that and wait. Takes a little bit of time. I'm seeing a nice cucumber coming up. Am I seeing any squash bugs? I'm not really seeing a lot of action here. This is great news. So you see, it does, if you stay on top of them, it does work. Let's move on to the next one. I moved on to another patch because I found the numbers were really reduced. So I found, now I'm in my zucchini patch and I thought I would continue here. You can see that I have a zucchini growing. It hasn't been pollinated yet, so hopefully I do get this first zucchini. It's a pantheon variety. But as you saw, you see there's a cucumber beetle sitting on the stem. I'm going to try to catch it. And when you do, you drop it in a bucket of soapy water and you get them. So, but in the beginning, there were a lot more of them. 
So you do have to stay on top of your plant and you need to be sure that you harvest the pests, the cucumber beetles and the squash bugs often, daily if possible, and that will reduce their numbers. If you leave them, they will make babies every day and you know, the numbers will increase. So if you can get on top of them, prevent them from mating, you know, and getting them, then you will find that your crops, your plants will recover and your crops will begin to produce new fruit. Well, I hope that you give this method a try. It definitely does work. I've been doing this now for the last month uh, and the numbers have de definitely reduced because you can see that the plants now are growing. Like the cucumbers I showed you, the zucchini patch that I'm in right now, the plants are definitely growing. So they do recover as long as you can get a control of the uh, those two pests you know, and they are, there's less of them. So less of them will attack the plant and, and procreate and make more babies. And you'll have less of them on your plants and your plants will have a chance to fight back. And as a result, you will get a harvest. The larger the plants are, the stronger they are, the more able they are to withstand attack from cucumber beetles and squash bugs. So thanks again for watching today. If you like my video, please be sure to give me a like as well. Please subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell and then you'll be notified when a new video is up and posted. Hope you're all having a great day, everyone. Happy gardening and I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.